Hi! In this video, I'm going to talk about the first 88 chapters for airframe systems. In these chapters, we found the airframe systems description and operation. Chapter 21 Air Conditioning This chapter describes how air is used in the aircraft. It includes the units and components which are used for pressurizing, heating, cooling, moisture controlling, filtering and treating the air. Compression. This is the part of the system which supplies the air. This includes controls and indicating systems related to the compressors. But it does not include the pressure control and indicating system for the cabin pressurization. Distribution. This is the part of the system used to distribute the air. Includes blowers, scoops, ducting, inlets and check valves but it does not include valves which are part of pressurization and temperature control. Pressurization control. This is the part of the system used to control the pressure within the fuselage. Includes control and relief valves, indicators, switches and amplifiers. Heating. This part of the system supplies heated air, includes heater panels and indicating systems but it does not include temperature control. Cooling. This part of the system supplies cooled air, includes the cooling unit and indicating systems, but it does not include temperature control system. Temperature control. This part of the system controls the temperature of the air, includes control valves, thermal sensing devices, switches, indicators and amplifiers. Moisture and air contaminant control. This part of the system controls moisture in the air, ozone concentrations, filters radioactive debris from conditioned air, and treats the air with the odorizers and insecticides. Do you know what ozone is? Let me know in the comments. Chapter 22 Out of Life this system is responsible for automatically controlling the flight of the aircraft. It includes units and components which control direction, heading, attitude, altitude, and speed. Autopilot. This part of the system automatically controls the flight path of the aircraft through adjustment to the pitch, roll, and jaw axis and provides visual aids for flight path guidance. Includes computers, servos, control panels, indicators, and warning lights. Speed and attitude correction. This system automatically maintains safe flight conditions by correcting effects of speed and out of trim conditions. It includes automatic trim and mag trim. Auto throttle. This system automatically controls the position of the throttles to effectively manage engine power during all phases of flight. This includes amplifiers, computers, servos, limit switches, clutches, gearboxes, and warning lights. Chapter 23 Communications. This system includes communication from one part of the aircraft to another and between the aircraft and ground stations. Speech communications. This system transmits and receives messages from air to air or air to ground stations. Includes HF, VHF, UHF and in-flight telephone. SATCOM. This system includes Satellite Communication Systems SATCOM. Data Transmission and Automatic Calling This part of the system includes Teleprinter, Selective Calling System and Aircraft Communication Addressing and Reporting System. Passenger Address, Entertainment and Comfort This is the part of the system used to address and entertain the passengers. It includes amplifiers, speakers, handsets, reproducers, control panels, and control units. Interphone. 
This part of the system is used by flight and ground personnel to communicate between areas on the aircraft. Includes amplifiers and handsets. It does not include the interphone system within the flight compartment, which is part of the integrating system. Audio integrating. This is the part of the system which controls the output of the communications and navigation receivers into the flight crew headphones and speakers, and the output of the flight crew microphones into the communications transmitters. It includes audio selector control panel, microphones, headphones, and cockpit loudspeakers. Static discharging. This part of the system is used to dissipate static electricity. Why is the static discharge system in communications chapter? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Audio and video monitoring. This system records or monitors crew or passenger conversation or movement for security or safety purposes. It includes voice recorders, television, monitors, and externally mounted camera. Integrated automatic tuning. This is the part of the system which maintains control of the operating frequencies of communication and navigation transmitters and receivers. Thank you for watching. Please share this video with your friends if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again. See you next time.